Hello and welcome to web learning where knowledge is shared. In today's tutorial, we'll learn how to use the sleep mode with interrupt in the STM32L0. This project will be based on video 26 where I showed how to use the LED with interrupt. The interrupt is needed in order to exit the sleep mode. So let's get started. So sleep mode is very important in the STM32 and any other microcontroller in order to save power between tasks. If you're connected to a power source, you don't need this because you have constant power. But if you're using a battery, it's really important to put the microcontroller in sleep and save as much power as possible. In the STM32, it is possible to put the core in sleep and some of the peripherals can still work while the core is in sleep. So how does the sleep mode work? So first, the program needs to initialize the interrupts and then it needs to initialize the GPIO then we enter the sleep mode with wait for interrupt WFI. After this, we create an edge. This generates an interrupt. It exits the sleep mode and immediately it enters the interrupt handler and it takes care of the interrupt and then it goes to the callback. When using the IDE, it's really important to set it to connect under during reset. There are different ways for the ST-Link to connect and this one is really important because if you don't do that, the ST-Link won't be able to connect after it enters the sleep mode. So going back to the example of video 26 where we use the push button to turn on and off a LED. If you don't have this project, then please go back and watch the, the video and follow all the instructions. So in this video, I'll go to project generate code because we're using almost the same code open project let's compile it to see that everything is still working fine zero error zero warnings and for today's tutorial we'll go directly to the while one between user code begin 3 and user code n3 we'll put the following lines so first of all we'll do hal delay And then we'll write the sleep command. Pile EWR for power. Enter sleep mode. Open brackets. So in this command, we do low power regulator. Now there is uh, different regulators in the STM32. So when we enter the sleep mode, we want only the low power regulator to be on because it saves uh, a lot of power. It's an LDO and this is especially designed for the low power option. And again, power, sleep. Now there are two options. There is one sleep entry with WFI, that's what we're going to do. And WFE is wait for event, but we're doing today with interrupt. So WFI and that's it. Let's compile it. Everything is fine. Mentioned in this slide, this is from IAR, but uh, we're using today Kyle. We need to change the setting to connect during reset. Going back to the project, we'll click on settings, debug, settings, and here we can make sure that this is connect under reset. So everything is fine. We can load the project, done. And now we can run it. In order for you to make sure the power consumption, you can connect a fluke or any other meter to measure the power consumption. To measure the power consumption on the Nucleo, you need to remove the jumper as marked in the picture, IDD, and connect a fluke in current measurement and put one lead to either side and the other to the other side. This jumper powers only the microcontroller. So whatever power you're measuring, it will measure only the power that the microcontroller is using. As you can see from my measurement, I'm seeing around the 6.3, 6.4 milliamps. And this is uh, still quite high to put the microcontroller in sleep. What do you think could be the reason? Well, the reason is that we didn't put everything in sleep there are some things we still need to turn them off. And 
the thing that is still working is the cystic so how suspend tick here we are going to sleep and when we exit we need to wake it up again so hal yum tick load it and let's measure it as you can see now now we're getting 257 microamps that's it for today make sure you subscribe so you can win uh, some free demo boards every time i load an stm32 tutorial thank you